Homebrew Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on Homebrew Brewery's channel. This video is going to be about a huge mistake that I made with one of my batches of beer. Actually, I made a video, a complete video, brew day, step by step, of a Belgian strong ale. 10%, more than 10% ABV. Everything turned out great. Primary fer fermentation, everything, I hit the numbers. But I made a huge mistake. This guys, first I have to explain something else. This is an uh, IPA. It's the last glass, I guess, out of the keg. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty clear. Well, I made um, a video on my channel a couple of videos uh, ago about secondary fermentation, where I was transferring the beer into a secondary to get it more clear. Of course, I add CO2 later in my kegs, in my kegerator. Normally, I do a secondary fermentation to clear it out. Again, I'm a homebrew. It doesn't need to be perfectly clear like this one is. That's a whole other discussion. Homebrew or beer doesn't need to be clear. First of that, I have to say that. But normally I do a secondary fermentation to clear it out. I put it in a keg, put CO2 on it, and that's the way I like to brew and drink my beer. And that's not the way, the best way, I have to say. There are several ways to, uh, to do it. But we're going back to the dark strong ale. You guessed it right. Primary fermentation, very good. Hit the numbers. But then what I do usually do is a secondary fermentation. So I put that batch in the secondary, cleared it out completely, no yeast anymore in that beer. I bottled the entire batch. I believe I have so many bottles, it should be about 23 and a half liters or so. Primed it with 5 grams of sugar. And guess what? I can show you. Perfectly clear, but no fermentation was going on in a bottle. You can see it. I see it on camera, you can see it. There's no yeast on top of the bottom and then you already know it failed. I can crack one open for you. Wait a second. Alright, here I have a clean glass with some uh, water spots on it. I uh, washed it in a Humbe brewery beer opener that I didn't crave myself. Well, check out the sound. That's just a little bit of a haze, uh, assist, I have to say. Just a little bit of assist. But this guys is uh, not something I'm proud of. Come on camera, focus. It's a beautiful color. It smells great, just a little bit sweet. I'll tell you more about it. Check this out. But the aroma is very good. There is some kind of uh, carbonation going on. You can see it on the side of the glass, but 
it's not carbonated enough to drink and when you taste it it's sweet very sweet that will be the unfermentable uh, sugars the five grams of priming sugar that I uh, put in it's a very rich taste aroma is good but it's too sweet so I made oh I hate myself so much I brewed so many batches of beer and oh, I really hate myself of this that was going to be a perfect beer that I did a secondary there was no yeast enough to um, ferment the sugars in the bottle that I added to it and <coughs> it's, it's uh, strong that for sure gives a really warm feel in your uh, mouth what should I do with this? There are a couple of options. Drink it like it is, but I don't like beer sweet as it is right now. I could keg it and put some uh, CO2 on it so I have more carbonation and probably a little bit of a head on it. But it's still pretty sweet. Too sweet, in my opinion. But the taste and aroma is so good. The color is good. What should I do with it? I could drain it all into the sink. But there's a lot of work in it. A lot of ingredients. It's an expensive beer to brew. Well, first of all I'm going to show you my purchase that I did recently. It's a stainless steel boiler of uh, Still Spirits, the Turbo 500 series. And I also purchased a stainless steel condenser. It's a refraction, refractionating column. I purchased this to um, distill some water, so I have a perfect source of uh, water in my uh, brewery. Probably I'm going to do an unboxing uh, video on this uh, on this one on my channel. Mm, I can't distill this beer with this set. It's uh, illegal in my country. You can distill uh, alcohol, it's illegal, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this set to distill water. Okay, so I have to drink it like this is, like it is, and many bottles. We'll see what happens. So, I'm not ever going to do a secondary fermentation or a secondary transferring beer and primary to the secondary I'm not going to do it that again with uh, heavy beers so uh, lesson learned thank you all guys for watching Double fisted. Cheers. Much better. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you all for watching uh, this video.